If there's one thing you can count on, it's me calling the options bar, the control bar in Photoshop, and the control bar, the options bar in Illustrator. Why these two teams, they don't talk. They literally don't talk. I've met with both people in charge of those teams. You know, I I get to go up to Adobe for a week every year, well, before COVID. And um, Adobe education leaders uh, around the world are invited. You have to get to the headquarters, and then they put you up and wine and dine you and, and have all kinds of fabulous learning opportunities. And it, it's just an incredible week. But you get to meet with the department heads, you know, the guy in charge of Photoshop, the woman in charge of Illustrator. How cool is that? And um, ask questions. And one of the questions I asked was, you know, when you guys talk, oh, we don't talk. We don't, we don't meet. Our teams are separate. I mean, literally, they moved the Illustrator team to India. And cool. It's a multinational, global, creative conglomerate, you know, the Adobe is huge, the largest creative software company in the world, but they don't talk. I mean, that's just crazy. And I can't believe the people who work on Photoshop don't also use Illustrator and vice versa. So what I want to say about the options bar is keep it on. Jeez, if you're ever missing this up here, I know in Illustrator, they're up here. In Photoshop, they're down here. Go figure. I, I can't explain it, but, you know, but they're both under window so you can find it. So always have the options bar up and even if it's just called options and know that just like Illustrator's control bar, Photoshop's option bar is contextual. Depending upon what you're doing, what you have selected, um, the Options in this bar will change, allowing you to have more control <laughs> over what you're doing. And yeah, 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 you can almost, almost always, not always, find um, the reciprocal uh, choices inside a panel somewhere in here. However, this is kind of handy, kind of like properties. Properties is new. Go back a couple revs in Photoshop and Illustrator, properties wasn't there. Properties always used to be in Macromedia products when Adobe ate them up so they could get Flash, which Steve Jobs helped kill, and now is called Adobe Animate, works in different principles. Uh, but some ideas are too good to bury, and the properties panel rose from the dead and is now front and center. And it's one of our big three. We have color, properties, and adjustments here, and then our layers. You know, the, the, the big three here and the big three out here with the toolbar, the options bar, and what's this big thing called, huh? That keeps us focused on our work the application frame. We'll get to that next.